Today I'll be showing you how to edit portraits in Luminar AI. If you're new to photography and you're still trying to discover your own signature look, or if you're someone who needs to edit their images quickly with just a few clicks and moving some sliders, Luminar AI is the perfect photo editing software for you. Using artificial intelligence, the software will scan your image and will provide you with suggested templates on how it should be edited. It will serve as a guide or a starting point on how you want your final image to look like. Luminar AI is focused on providing stunning results at the shortest time possible, giving you less time to edit and more time to shoot. Alright, so let's edit this first image right here. Then we click on Templates. And immediately the AI scans the image, and on the right side, it provided some templates that we can use to edit the image. We have Experimental, Monochrome, and Blockbuster. Let's go over the experimental templates and see what kind of effects we get. This is Burned Film. This is Celebrate. This is Cold Frame. This is Color Ramp. This is Glow. This is Feather Light. Alright, for me personally, I'm not liking these suggested edits. So let's go back to templates and see what else we have. And now here under Essentials, let's try the close-up templates. So we have Iconic, Brush Up, Featured Face, Focus, and Midday. If you're happy with the template that you selected, you can just click the Export tab right here and save your image. And if you want to adjust some settings, you can click on the Edit tab right here. So all of the adjustments that's been applied by the template will have a small dot beside it, as you can see. Now if we zoom in on the image, we can see that she has a pimple on her forehead. Let's see if we can remove it. So we go down here to the skin section and take the box that says skin defects removal. And there you go. It automatically removed the pimple in one click. Pretty amazing, huh? Now let's decrease the shine on the model's face by moving the shine removal slider right here. Okay, that looks good. Let's zoom in so we can see it better. This is the before. This is after. Now in cases where the skin defects removal doesn't work, we can always manually select those blemishes and then have it removed automatically. We just need to go to the Erase section right here, and then click on the spot that we want to remove, and then click Erase. I'm still seeing some distracting blemishes on her face, so let me try to remove them. I'll go ahead and speed this up. Now that's looking better. I'm happy with this image, so let's go ahead and export this. We go to Export, click Save Photo to Disk, and here we have the option to choose where we want to save the image. Rename it, change the image format, apply some level of sharpening, resize it, color space option, resolution, and quality. Now this is how I save my images. I set it to JPEG format, leave sharpening to none, resize the long edge, set the size to 2048 which is optimized for online social media, color space to Adobe RGB, resolution to 240 pixels per inch, and the quality to 100. And that's how easy and quickly it is to edit portraits in Luminar AI. With the help of artificial intelligence, photo editing is now simpler and much faster. Alright, let's proceed with our second example right here. Then we go back to templates. And here on the right is the same close-up collection we used on our first image. We've already seen this, so let's go back to the main templates area and see what else we got. And again, the AI has made some suggestions here in the top right on how to edit this image. There's monochrome, experimental, and easy portraits. Let's go over to the easy portraits collection. We have high key, 
Attack Sharp, Fade, Vignette, and Low Key. Let's go back to the main template section and look for more options. Let's choose Essentials and click on Close Ups. Then let's just go over these templates quickly and select which one fits the best for this image. Alright, let's choose the focus template for this example. Then we click on edit right here to tweak the settings. Let's go to the array section and remove some blemishes. It's the same process that we did on the first example, where we select all the spots that we want to remove and then click erase. As you can see, there is a single strand of hair that I want to remove, so let's see if the AI can remove it properly. Okay, so it was not able to intelligently remove that single strand of hair. It's possible that this function doesn't work for hair, and mainly just for pimples and other skin defects. So we have to undo this step and start all over again. Let me just fast forward this step. And this is what we have so far. It's looking good, right? Now let's go down to the portrait section and adjust a few settings. Let's increase face light just a tad. And let's just keep the rest of the face AI settings for now. Then we go to skin AI and slide the amount all the way to 100. So this is the before. This is after. What do you think? Is the skin smoothing too much? I'll just leave it as it is so that we can really see the effect. Then let's bump the shine removal all the way to 100 as well. Before. After. And then let's take the skin defects removal and see what it does. Okay, I don't think it did anything to the image, but let's just leave it at that. And that's it! We've applied the template and manually adjusted the settings to our personal preference. So the templates are pretty much customizable and can serve as a starting point when editing your image. Let's now move on to our third and last example. This time, we won't be applying any templates but we will edit this image manually from scratch. So while still on the edit tab, we scroll up to essentials and move the AI enhance slider and see what it does. So it appears to have brightened the image a little bit. Then we go to Light and set the white balance. Let's go with Daylight. Alright, that looks much better. Next, we scroll all the way down to the portrait section and under Face AI, let's adjust the Face Light slider to brighten her face. Then let's also slightly slim down her face by moving the slider. Okay, not bad. Then here under the eye section, let's just leave the iris visibility to its default value. Then let's bring up the iris flare. Skip enlarging the eyes. Increase the eye whitening. And eye enhancer. Let's also apply dark circles removal. And lastly, improve eyebrows. Now this is the original image. And this is with our manual face adjustments. Let's go to the mouse section and adjust the lip saturation, lips redness, and lips darkening. Okay, the image is getting better and better. Now let's go to the skin AI down here and enable the skin defects removal. And just like that, we were able to remove all the blemishes without manually selecting them. The AI did an amazing job removing those blemishes. Now let's crank up the skin smoothing amount all the way to 100. Okay, I think this is way too much, so let's decrease it to about 60. Okay, that looks more natural. We can skip the shine removal because I don't see any shine on her face. Alright, I think we're done. This is the original image, 
And this is our manual edit. What do you think? Are you impressed with Luminar AI? I'd like to know your thoughts, so comment down below. So this concludes my tutorial on how to edit portraits using Luminar AI. You can use the suggested templates, or you can manually adjust the settings to your personal taste. With Luminar AI's artificial intelligence, it really changed the photo editing game. It makes our lives easier, so we can spend less time editing and focus more on taking great pictures. So if you're a beginner who's having trouble using Lightroom and Photoshop, or you're a photographer who only wants minor editing and just wants to get the results fast and easy, Luminar AI is perfect for you. No need for multiple layers, masking, and tedious brushing. If you're interested in purchasing Luminar AI, please use my link down in the video description as it helps out my channel so I can provide more content like this in the future. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, the background music that I use in this video is from Artlist. And if you use my link down below, you will get 2 months free on your annual subscription. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video.